Is it true that you and um, is it true that you and Melissa have uh, a kind of a Mrs. Wallowitz off? Is that, uh, is, that, is, that is that true? Uh, I, I heard that they were du they were dueling impersonations. We have both done uh, her, an impression of her on on the show. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, so that that's you don't want too many of those those voices though floating around the stage. It's <laughs> it's very I'd terrifying. Like as you can... I, I'd like to hear that. I'd like to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do it. Your your boss totally wants to hear it. I think you have to totally do it. Uh, okay. Hey everyone, how are you all? So I'm that guy who's gonna give you a long two minute speech promoting my other videos before giving you what you are actually looking for. Starting with that, if you are a Marvel fan, you can go to my channel playlist called Top 10 Things You Missed in the Infinity Saga. And if you are a Big Bang Theory fan, how come you didn't guess that I'm doing a bad Bazinga joke? Bazinga. <laughs> You've fallen victim to another one of my classic practical jokes. <laughs> So don't worry, no speech, but I'll give you some interesting details in between this video and I promise it won't be a trouble for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, <clears throat> stand back, I guess. Uh, <laughs> 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 Howard! <clears throat> Was that it? Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, yeah, that's all. You got something? Um. <laughs> what is this Comic Con you're at? Is it some kind of sex convention I saw in 2020? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Ah, oh, face, Simon. She faced you. Oh yeah, my I, God. I, I, you know. Wow. She's little, but she's strong. <laughs> it's the Indian in me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. She was really awesome while doing the voice of Howard's mom. But what you are about to witness, you won't even believe to be true. Try to notice by yourself, and if you can't find out, I'll be there, of course. Melissa, what's your what's what, what's do you, do you have a do you have a sketch comedy background? Um, I actually started in stand-up comedy in New York um, years ago in my youth, and um, and then I came out here um, to kind of pursue um, stuff like this. I don't I don't do stamped up as much anymore, but um, just kind of do Wallowitz impersonations around town. <laughs> Did you notice something? Yeah, that was Melissa's real voice. I couldn't even believe that's her real voice. I always pictured her with the one with that voice that she has in the show. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Ask uh, Dr. Mayim Bialik. That's insane. I went to, because I went to UCLA, and you're legendary for uh, attending UCLA, right? Is it where you went to med school? Uh, I, I didn't go to med school, but I did my undergrad and my graduate degree, yes, at UCLA. Go Bruins! Yes! <laughs> oh, well, just a handful of us. Anyway, uh, so what, what, was, what was the impetus behind, like, what made you say, like, ah, I think I want to get a PhD for the hell of it? Um, I don't know if anyone says they want to get a PhD just for the hell of it. Uh, I, I fell in love with biology when I was a teenager, when I was still working on Blossom, and I really just wanted to pursue academia when I finished Blossom. I was two years out of high school. Um, I did my undergrad in neuroscience, and um, honestly, yay neuroscience. Um, um, honestly, Where are my neuroscience I, bitches at? <laughs> Yeah, the host is annoying and I know that. And I'm sorry to say but he's gonna be like this for the entire video. So just try to focus on the good parts like you do in your life. Um, honestly, I, I loved academia, I loved uh, what I was studying and uh, that's the reason many of us go on to a PhD because there's not much else going on and you like what you're doing and you don't want to join the real world. So that's what happened. Did you even have to audition for this show or are you like, uh, guys, I'm kind of a doctor. <laughs> Um, no, I, I did audition for this show. Um, I, I, I'm sorry to admit, I, I had never watched the show. I had heard of it, but um, I, I was told, well, they need a female Jim Parsons, and I said, who's Jim Parsons? <laughs> so, um, you, yeah, you're welcome, Jim. And so I, uh, I googled Jim Parsons the night before the audition, and I, I did my best, um, my best Jim Parsons, and I guess it was good enough. And on my, my resume, under miscellany, it says PhD Neuroscience UCLA. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, I believe it was Bill Brady who said, hey, wait a second, do you really have a PhD in neuroscience? And I said, yes, I do. And then I left, and I got the call that I got the job, so. You, but what you, guys, what you guys have to understand is an actor's resume, like people lie about stuff on there all the time, and the other stuff that it says under special skills are like, horseback riding, moonwalking, right, Australian right, right. accent. So like, that's why that's awesome. Well, that's where it goes. It doesn't go under TV or film. It goes under miscellany. <laughs> Are you actually, are you able to consult on the show? Uh, I don't know if I consult, but um, you know, I, I think I get a twitch when a word is not exactly the way my neuroscience training would have it be, so oh. I think it's pretty obvious. I'm so uh, turned on right oh. now, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad there's a podium right here, I'll just say that. <laughs> my, my M helps out a great deal on, uh, on Amy's uh, science dialogue. And with my acting skills. <laughs> And Kunal helps out on Indian things. <laughs> Kaylee helps out on adorable things. <laughs> I'm not going to do everybody because the adorable joke died, so I'm not going to keep going. This was a big season. A lot of a lot of a lot of huge stuff happened this season. Um, and I know there was a there was a huge cliffhanger. Uh, is there? Can you? tease anything that might be coming up? Is that going to resolve quickly in the first season? I mean, in the fifth season back, or is that going to draw out? What's, what's going on? Oh, we have a, you have a worked out answer? Yeah, yes, we worked Good out for an you. answer. Good for you. Where we now. There will be a resolution, and we think whichever way you came down on what happened, you'll be happy with how it works out. <laughs> Thank Wait you, Mr. President. Wow. That's so non-committal. <laughs> we worked on that. Steve and I worked on that for a while. Do they, does the cast know? Does the cast know what's going on? No, but no. I want this resolved as soon as possible <laughs> between these two. <laughs> okay, so here they are talking about the season four finale of the Big Bang Theory when Penny slept with Raj. Jim, are you still playing the theremin, I think is the question in everyone's mind. No. All right. <laughs> but I really did enjoy that very much, actually. Did you actually learn how to play uh, Star Trek on the theremin? Oh, yeah. well, uh, anybody who really plays the theremin would be mad at me for saying, yes, I learned. Uh, but I did, to the best of my ability, learn. I, I did that. <laughs> <laughs> What other show could you see a smoking monkey and 25 cats and a theremin? None. Yeah, that's I don't exactly know. the right answer. I, I didn't realize that was to me. Uh, I know I agree, but on, seriously about that, that's one of the best things I think we have going for us is like the basis of our show is brilliant minds and science. So, well, science covers just about anything. I mean, I just feel like anything they think of, they're like, we should have, I mean, we've had a time machine on the show already, you know, I mean, it's like, if you can think of it, they could probably find a way to fit it in. We can justify it, it's science. <laughs> That's my feeling. Uh, listen, if you want to drop a TARDIS uh, right in the middle of the living room. I know a guy. What is that? Wait, what's that? TARDIS stands for time and... Uh, <laughs> Hang on. TARDIS stands for Time and Relative Dimension in space. Oh. It's a time machine. It's a time machine. Oh, oh, Did we just get booed machine. at Comic Con? Oh, yeah, okay. that's a first. That's the first time you've ever been booed it's at Comic Con. That was a lot of initials. You can't get mad at her. Wait, you haven't seen everything that's ever been on television? <laughs> <laughs> like, these people have jobs. What do you, what do you want? <laughs> just give them a break. We saw all the episodes of Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna open up to floor to questions from the floor for just a minute, but just really quickly, let's just go down. Uh, if you guys have favorite moments from the season that, that you remember that you that you want to share, let's start with you, Mime. Oh, oh sorry, okay. yeah. um, Well, um, my, my joke is usually that kissing Kaylee was my favorite moment of the season, but that really? um, yeah, was pretty good. No, but I thought uh, I thought when uh, I thought when Amy and Sheldon had their drunk kiss, I think that was my favorite part of the season. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite moment of the season was also with Mayim, but it's not something that made it. Well, it is on film, but you wouldn't know what was going on. We had to do a scene. Do you remember this? We're sitting. I won't say where we're sitting because the. Okay, God, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> there was. Mayim and I were attending an event type thing, and the person that. 
<laughs> and the person that we were watching do this event, he kept staring at us and he was saying all of his lines directly to uh, the, the, the actor was. And it was really hard to, to do. Like he'd stare at us while we were well, acting. He was supposed to be I'm not explaining it. He was supposed to be making yeah. a speech speaking to a group of people. Yeah. But whenever they were filming just me and Jim, yeah. he wasn't pretending like he was speaking to everyone. He was looking he was directly just staring at us <laughs> while we're acting. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to look just to the right of his head. You look to the right of his head too. So both of us had to look over here so we wouldn't have to look at him we straight in the agree, eye. We had to agree where we were going to pretend he was though, so one of us wasn't looking this way and the other that way. Thank you for helping me with that story too. That was horrible. You're the, oh, you saved that whole thing. Kaylee, you're next. <laughs> oh my God. This is a, such a hard question. I, there's so many fun moments. Um, oh God, there's been so many. I guess I'm selfishly going to name one that I was in. But um, I guess it was the, where I had a lovely man have to grab my ass in an episode um, when we were dancing. And he was, was a little older man, and he was <laughs> so nervous. He was terrified. I think he was, he was so against everything he believed in. But I was like, honey, just grab it. Just do it. <laughs> And he closed his eyes and just went for it. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's I have, oh gee, yeah, it's a tough question. Yeah. Kaylee's look to Kunal when she wakes up the next morning next to him <laughs> was classic. Melissa had a line this year, I think it was, I want my baby to have nice things. Oh, yeah. That no, was funny. And I, there was this, this, the slightest lilt that was in, the, in the, her reading of it that was just straight pimp. No. And I couldn't get enough of it. I watched her do it so many times. And you taking your clothes off in the restaurant when you're on the medication. Oh, yeah! That's a good one. Man, you stole my favorite moment. <laughs> Uh, I think the, the funnest thing was when we were doing the Bollywood dance, uh, we had to learn how to sing the song actually and Melissa and I were in the studio with a, sing with a singing teacher and this Indian woman and she was like, you are my, I was trying to sing the song like, you are my heart, my universe and she's like, not my, but my universe. <laughs> so here I am in this booth trying to learn this song which Raj is not supposed to be a good singer anyway and getting like yelled at by this teacher who's trying to give me the right note and um, Needs to say, I, I failed at it, but it was still, it was, it was pretty memorable. <laughs> um, hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> someone took well, their. Well, well, well. <laughs> someone took their. Would you two like to be alone? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a baby here? <laughs> I knew I'd find my soulmate at Comic Con. <laughs> um, I enjoyed wrestling uh, with oh. Kunal. Uh, on and off camera, I I like putting a unitard on, um, which I had never done. Very very convenient piece of clothing. It's just one piece, and I slipped it on, and then uh, I got to you know shake all about. That was fun, and I've enjoyed working with Melissa a lot more, and proposing and being all sweet. Aww. Aww. I'm so sweet. I don't make know. Can I say? Out, make out. Make out. <laughs> My favorite wow. moment was my own sweetness and talent this year. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa? Oh, uh, you know, I have so many. I was a fan before I came on the show, so I feel like I'm going to list off a hundred of just fan moments watching these guys. But um, Oh, my God. That, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. That's not what I thought you said. I, I can't hear very well down here. What did you think I said? I thought you said I was a man before I came on this episode. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I did Do they know this? That. Did the producers know this? That's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah. You can hear just you fine, heard, Chris. You heard absolutely right. <laughs> um... Jeez. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, um, it, the operation's not complete yet, but it will be by next season. <laughs> There's That's no visible cool. scarring. Like, it looks good. I took it too far. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, I absolutely love the um, Penny and Sheldon acting lesson. I thought that was fantastic. And there was also just that look with... Um, Kaylee and Johnny in um, the New Year's Eve episode at um, at when the uh, when the clock struck midnight and everyone was celebrating. There was just that moment that they they looked at each other and it was just it was really it was just beautiful and I really it was Gosh, such Melissa. heart. It was really nice. Oh, and uh, see, I'm a fan. So and then uh, 
And then Simon, when he had that moment of, of worry when uh, he heard the thud when Mrs. Wallowitz fell to the ground. It was just... It was such a hard moment. Oh, when he runs into the... Um, yeah, not really. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Any scenes with me? All, all of your scenes. All of your scenes. Every single one. Well, they told about their favorite scenes, but don't forget to comment about your favorite scenes from the Big Bang Theory saga. I want to. I wanted to have enough time because usually they only allow like ten minutes for questions, and I always feel like that's that's not enough, especially because you guys you guys have such hardcore fans. I know that there are a lot of people out there that I'm sure have some awesome questions. Uh, so, do we have the microphone lined up, or people people ready? Oh my God, she's right there! Oh, you scared the crap out of me. I didn't see you sneak up like that. What is your name, madam? My name is Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Chris. What's Saw your question? You last night. Um, my question is for Bill or Chuck. Um, you're going into season five now, and I just want to know when is Sheldon going to experience Pon Far? Because he got about seven years. <laughs> You want to take yeah, this? I know what that is. Vulcan puberty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. I, you know, Sheldon. Sheldon seems singularly devoted to to science. Uh, um, I, I think. I think only time will tell. It's biological. <laughs> if he's actually Vulcan, yes, it's biological. <laughs> No, it's like that time when you fired uh, his cells down at the Genesis planet and Shelton reformed. All right, I'm getting nerdy. Uh, sorry. Penny My... will probably have to teach him that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. That's a very special. Hello, sir. What's going on? I just want to say I love you guys' show. I just got back to Iraq, and that would help me get through the whole time I was gone. And my question was for Jim. I was wondering if I could get a bazinga in true Sheldon fashion. Bazinga. Oh, well, there's so many ways to do it, but... Um, well, I was going to say yeah, thank you for serving our country. Bazinga! <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hi. Hello. This question is for Jim. After four seasons, what aspects of playing Sheldon are still a challenge for you? I don't know what he's talking about a lot of the time still. That's challenging. Um, that's what Mayim's for these days, which is actually sad but true. Um, what, you know, I, I feel like one of the ways in which all of us are so lucky on this show is that there's, there's little to nothing that anybody's able to phone in, as it were. Um, there's something... There's some version of challenge to every one of these episodes for, for everybody. You know, the stories stay interesting, the stories stay honest, and the stories stay very organic. You know, like the introduction, especially of these um, Mayim and Melissa, their characters this year. You know, there's a thousand different ways you could try out somebody and see if they're going to work on the show, but. I guess what I'm saying is that they, we keep, the writers, we keep getting things that are so organic to these characters and the stories that for, have not, they've, they just keep growing from that same place that they came from in the very beginning. And so that stays challenging because the challenge for you is keep honest, stay honest. So I guess that's it. Still, just the challenge is to always remain true because that's what the script is doing. So, oh good lord. There, that's it. <laughs> Am I the only one who is feeling a bit weird after seeing him talking in a non sheldon style? I mean it is just weird and for some reason Jim really looks uncomfortable to me. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. No, but it's right. I mean, like, it's like what you said. There's no way you can phone it in. Like, when you're, like, I, I can imagine the uh, uh, rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Like, yeah. that, that must have been two straight pages of just you. I don't know what it was uh, anymore, but it was bad and it was hurtful and I had to stare into Kunal's eyes while I did it and he would just, I, I, really that's the most takes I've ever had to do of anything we've ever done and Kunal would just stay there and watch me and I'd fail and he'd go, oh. <laughs> And, um, and so it, was, it ended up being a sweet moment between us, but it nearly broke me as a man. <laughs> 
Hello, what's your name? Uh, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, this is my first Comic Con. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> was I found out you guys were going to be here. I had to fight to get the Comic Con picture of you guys too. But my thing is, um, I could be like Penny not knowing all the nerdiness that you guys kind of do. So on the off time, do you pull any nerdiness on each other? <laughs> that sounds gross when you say it that way. <laughs> That's grosser than Indian inside me or whatever. We yeah, are, there there. Ner are there nerdy, nerdy pranks? for uh, actress Diane Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. I can see it, yeah. <laughs> she just got it. Nerdy pranks. Um, oh, come on, guys. We think of something. Um, I know. It's not a very we're cranky yeah. cast. We give each other a hard time, but I don't know if we're pranksters. Um, we no. make a lot of fun of each other. Mainly yeah. me. Do you have anything? People make fun of me, but... We're not pranksters. We talk a lot about our ping pong playing. We play a lot of ping pong. It's pretty nerdy. Um, it's just pretty That's nerdy. That's lame, Kaylee. It's not. <laughs> I just. <laughs> it's not a prank. It's a game. What is a nerdy I, I don't prank? I know what a nerdy what prank is. Oh, Nancy. Get your nerdiness off of me. <laughs> Well, you can take the Jim out of a Selden, but you cannot take Selden out of Jim. Did you notice suddenly he was just back in the character of Selden and how he was teasing Kaylee? It's your first Comic-Con. It, you'll you'll okay. learn. You'll get better next time. You'll oh, think of better questions next time. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Nancy. I love no, you and No, that's the true orange. her. That's what she's really the like, truth is Nancy. coming out. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and also don't go without subscribing to this channel. Bye bye, see you next time.